Welcome back everybody, Tim Carrico here. Welcome back to the channel. Just working on the trailer here a little bit. This morning, before it gets too hot out, this is a Grand Design Imagine 2500 RL rear living and uh, doing some more mods to it and making it uh, a little bit better, I think. The um, This is drive side pass-through storage and I added the cobalt poly pegboard system you can see it there and just started on it today <clears throat> hanging up some tools works out pretty good it looks like clean up some area I got rid of a tool tote that I had in here I put up a pretty strong magnet up on top there Hold some sockets and the uh, crimpers for the PEX line, a little hand axe and um, some pliers. There's a socket in there for the uh, lug wrenches for the uh, trailer. Um, shovel there. Still have a couple of the totes, but at least I uh, cleaned it out a little bit, organized it. And uh, I'll show you something else here in a minute. Put the totes in, in order of uh, necessity. And you start with your electric and your fresh water. I don't have the chocks in here, wheel chocks yet, because we're still chalked up. Here at the homestead, they'll go in right in here in front, help things from shifting around too much. Let me put down some kind of rubber mat in here, protect the flooring. Etc. Etc. But another little thing I got. Well, I actually had. I bought this for the truck um, to help me get up in the back of the truck because it's so tall, and uh, it works perfect. So I'll carry this in the truck when we're camping, and I'll pull it out after the um, blocks. I've got wooden blocks for the jacks, and uh, that way I can. You know, set it to the side of where I'm working at. I can pull out the bins, set them out here, and, and have everything out in the open where it's easy to get to. Unless it's raining. In that case, uh, hopefully, I have done that once already with this trailer, and it's not fun. But uh, hit like and subscribe.